over the past few decades, the feminist movement has become way too radical, extremely radical. So much so that you notice that there are more than just women included in feminism. Feminism began as something that was wholesome. I talked about this in episode eight of the podcast. It's an audio only. You'll have to find it within your podcast app. But episode eight was about feminism. And it was chronologized, chronologicalized the history of the feminist movement. You know, we're in the fourth phase, I believe, or we could have maybe jumped all the way to, to the fifth phase with where we are now as a society. But feminism began as a way to get more rights, fair treatment for women. And now there are tons of videos, especially on TikTok and, and YouTube and the other social media platforms that talk about how that movement has gone too far. Not only from the radicalization and being able to include men, you know, biological men into the women's movement, saying that they are, you know, part of this whole feminism movement, that they are equal. Their delusions make them equal to that of a biological woman. Not just that, but there are tons of videos out there that are advocating for getting a, a grip on what true femininity is and how women should not run from it. It's okay to be traditional. It is okay to live with traditional roles and traditional values. A lot of these videos, they, you know, they portray a woman from, let's say, maybe the 1800s, the early 1900s, and you know, they're one character talking, and then it flashes to a present day woman. But the older woman's like, hey, you know, I'm from the 1850s. What, what's women like today? And then it flashes to the present day woman, and she's like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm about to go to, go to my job and work, you know, eight to 10 hours a day and then come home and, and be a mother and do all that. And it flashes back to the woman from yesteryear and the response to kind of like, oh, like, do you like that? And I'm not saying that women should not have jobs. I mean, that's, <clears throat> that is absurd. But the feminist movement started to get equality for women. And now today, those who are trying to bring, you know, like go back to be more traditional when it comes to like the women's movement are saying, Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Like don't, don't chastise the women who, you know, want to be a stay at home mom. Those who do not want to enter the workforce. Working is great. Women do fantastic work. Women are supremely skilled in certain areas that men are not. But this whole notion that a woman has to work to have value is, is untrue. Hi, I'm Brian Kletter, the creator and host of the Counterthought Podcast. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to like it and then also check out these two videos and subscribe to the channel. For more daily content from me, you can find me on Instagram at Counterthought CEO and the official Counterthought Instagram page at counter underscore thought. Thank you for watching and spread the word.